All right. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening, depending on when you're listening to this. This is uh, Mike Tula of the Indie Run On Podcast. This is my our co-hosts, uh, Zach Salazar and Rupert Sanchez over here. We're ready to do a live commentary on Womp Stomp Films. Visit DeSante's Womp Stomp Films, Friday the 13th fan film, Never Hike Alone, a prequel to the excellent Never Hike Alone Um Friday 13th fan film that he did in 2017 that really kind of put fan films on the map was kind of a pioneer for filmmakers to kind of delve into horror fan films. And so we're all very excited to check out uh, Never Hike in the Snow. This has been uh, something a lot of people in the horror community have been waiting on. So we look forward to uh, checking it out. I'm going to leave Zach and Rupert uh, for any kind of comments to, uh, you know, introduce us to this first uh and if they don't have anything to say zach will cue us in and we will obviously leave the link to uh never hike in the snow down below in the description as well um they're you know again very hyped up but uh, we'll leave the link so if you want to follow along with us you can uh anything you guys want to say to set this up not me i'm i'm just ready to watch it yeah me too man i'm excited all right well zach cue us in already a disclaimer i love all the people are you allowed to uh to make a movie off this it's like oh my god man as long as you don't make money from that okay. yeah credit to womp stomp for uh showing the way every anytime someone says that you know uh you know zach and i did halloween night we used to do hey it's like <laughs> i always just leave a link to womp stomp be like hey this is how they did it this is how you're supposed to do it it's all good I really like the opening. Yeah, it's an awesome shot. Obviously, you're getting uh, Tommy Jarvis from Part Six, a fan favorite from uh, the Friday Thirteenth fan the uh, movies, I should say. And uh, he made an awesome cameo that uh, you know at the end of it's been three years. Uh, you know, spoilers are spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made an awesome cameo at the end of Never Hike Alone. Uh, the Friday the 13th 2017 fan film I like these overhead shots it looks like Cramp, Camp Crystal Lake in the snow yeah so, yeah. yeah. great I mean there's nothing harder to do than to shoot in the, in the snow man trust me yeah again you know Rupert's the resident cinematographer working cinematography I should say cinematographer and uh, he can attest to all the the shots and difficulty of some of these shots that we're seeing right now. It's funny, I saw a comment on, uh, I think it was the trailer. There was like, yeah. Jason's been to space, but no one thought to put him in the snow. And I was just like, yeah, yeah. it's actually. Yeah. <laughs> and this is so cool. He's using the. That's the old joke. The guy. Uh... The car thief running around the parking garage trying to figure out which cars. <laughs> Man, one of y'all, one of y'all's audio was way ahead of mine. We didn't sync this right. It's okay. It's fine. Should have zigzagged, man. So dead me commented on the uh, on the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice tension building. Booyah! Good kill. Good kill. Oh, wow. Good effects. Yeah. <laughs> I love the mask, how weathered it is. Oh, well, it's a unique mask, you know. I like how they, uh. Yeah, you can search for it. It's like Ghostface Jason or something like that. But yeah, it's really, uh. I like how they made it their own. He looks at the car. That was a pretty cool opening. Very well put together. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I was looking at some of their B uh, BTS and they were saying it was kind of crazy finding the right time to to shoot while the, the snow right, was dropping. Because yeah. you also have to be in, you want to get it at either the beginning of the day or at the end of the day so it could be backlit so you can actually see it. Yeah. You can see the snow. Hey, Chief. Hey, Chief. What's the word? What's the word? Car's registered to, car's a, Diana registered to a Diana Hill. Her son, Mark, took son the car Mark this morning. Took the car supposed to pick her up from work. Supposed to pick her up from work. Never showed. Never showed. Chief, he's only 17. Chief, he's only 17. Jesus. What'd you tell him? What'd you tell him? Just that we found the car. Looking for car. Him. Good. Good. I guess I'll head I over there and deliver the news. What are you gonna say? Just that her Just son that is her missing. Son I think missing. that's enough for that's now, enough don't you? For now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about the report? Don't worry about, about it. I'll take care don't of it in the morning. About it. Is there anything else I should do here? Anything else I should yeah. do here? Yeah. You still carry that road salt in your you trunk? Yes, sir, I do. Good. Yes, Round up all of this business. Round up all of this business. Spread the salt over Spread the blood. The over I don't blood. want anybody finding it. He's trying to cover it up. <laughs> sir, this is an act of crime scene. I have, I have everything, everything I need for my report. report. Why don't Why you don't just, just do what I ask? ask? And then Consistent with trying to cover up the, sir, the hysteria and all that stuff. Right. Yeah. Reminiscent of Jaws. So, it was Tommy Jarvis knowing that Jason's still alive? He's seen these guys trying to cover this up. This looks like his mo. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be a late night. Gonna be a late see night. you in the morning. See you. I love you. Love you. Send. Send. That's a good thing about the cell phones. It's a good source of lighting. They had a good, <laughs> good excuse to light the guy's face. Yeah. Hey. Tommy trying to Diana leave a trail. Rick. Yes. I'm Sheriff Rick Cologne. Yes. I'm Sheriff Rick Cologne. Do you have any information? Is this about Sure. Uh, sure. Right this way. Right this way. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well the good news is we good found your car. But I have but the unfortunate duty of letting you know, letting you know that, that your son, your son is, is missing. missing. Oh, no. 
Oh, no. oh what a scumbag. I know this is a very difficult time for you, no. but Diana, no. I'm going to have to ask you a couple of questions about Mark. Would you be up for that? This guy looks like uh, Maciac's older brother, right, Jace? Uh, Zach? <laughs> When's the last time you saw him? Come on, man. I'm trying to focus here. This morning. <laughs> yeah, he does, though. It's commentary, dude. It's a commentary. Mark. Mark. My bad. My bad. Thank you. Thank you. Frank, Frank Maziag. What you doing today? <laughs> so, I was Googling things to do around here. Take your best shot. Yeah. On some woods. Woods. I go explore. I go explore. Well, where are they? Where are they? Listen. Listen. Mom, mom. You need to stop worrying what I'm doing. Never gonna be Okay. Snow, go. Go. Don't forget, I need you to pick me up at the hospital. I need you to pick me up at the hospital at three. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. Mark? The chick resembles Mark? Judy Greer a bit. Be careful. Yeah. Always. Love you. There you go. Always. Love you. There you go. Yeah, it sounds a good actor. Was he with anyone? With anyone? Did he have anything with him? Did he have anything with him? Um. Yeah, she does look a little bit like Judy Greer. He career. hasn't really had a chance to make many friends yet. Make many friends yet. He had his camera bag. He has camera bag. That's where he was going. That's where he does look like Maziag. Oh my god. He's a great. No, I'm telling you. Holy shit. I, I don't know if that helps. Sure, it helps. Sure, it helps. Keeps us something. <laughs> He's in the air. So it's just the two I'm of you. Sorry. Mark's father left before he was born. It's always been just the two of you. I see. I see. Diana, Diana would you mind you if I took, took a look took around, around, around Mark's morning? Why? What? It might give us it something that would lead us, us something that would lead us to a clue, a hint, a clue, a hint. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. You know, when we first moved here, I thought we you were finally we safe. Here, I thought we were finally safe. You get so scared when you're sitting. So scared. Mark would be out all hours Mark of the night with his camera. Hours of the night with his camera. I thought I could find my glasses. Sheriff. Sheriff. Yes. Yes. Did you find anything? Did you find no, anything? I'm not. Um, not. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Let me take this. Hold on. Let me take this. Hold on. Go for cologne. Go for cologne. Alan. Alan. Calm down. Calm down. What is going on? What is going on? He did what? What? This is a shady ass cop. Something's come up across town that requires my attention. I'll have my office called in the morning with updates. Miss Hill, I promise you we are going to do everything within our power to find your boy. If you need anything else from me, call me directly. Thank you, Mr. No need to get Just do my job. Okay, real quick, where am I hearing Mexican music from? Don't worry about it. It's probably uh, uh, Rupert's backdrop. Yeah, uh, it's it's from it's from me. Is it oh, super loud? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. That looks like. Nice transition. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah. Very, very nice transition. Really good. Shout out to special effects artist, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, locations are spot on. I mean, this looks just, this looks straight. This looks so Friday the 13th. I like the special effects on uh, young Jason there. Snow shots are great. It's like part six. Law enforcement is trying to quell the Jason Lore, Tom Matthews knows what's up, or Tommy Jarvis. Seems like Maziag knows more than he lets on about this shit. Oh, yeah. This is a joke. Yeah, I mean, I was just saying, uh, John Maziak is, is one of our first guests on the podcast. That's why it's so funny that the sheriff here looks just like him. The hell is Jason? Now is Jason. Now is not the time. Now is not the time for a place. Go home. Be with your wife and kids. We we'll talk, talk about it in the morning. Talk about it. That's an order. That's an order. Happy you. Hey, you want something to do tonight? Want something to do tonight? Log this into Let's evidence. This write up the trespassing report on this son, son of a bitch. And get this shit he towed out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not getting this, Sheriff. Jason's, Jason's back. back. How many people are going to die for you? Wake, Wake up. up! I 
Not you now, Jarvis. No pain. Get the trick. These walks alone never end well. Yeah, looks like he's trying to get to the bottom of this. Ooh, found footage, baby. Here oh, body cam. I like that. Yeah, there's an awesome three minute horror short that was, uh, Police body cam footage is very well done. I don't know if they drew inspiration to that or not, but it's very effective. Yeah. Twenty seventeen, January. comes mm -hmm. yeah, I love the fake out with the music yeah nice fake out okay hon. okay hon. just wrap it up, up now be home soon no, no you won't for me love you let's go home but buddy screw that Baby, just go home. It was at that moment he knew he fucked up. Who cares what's in there? So many jokes. So many jokes. <laughs> These are awesome shots. Dude, this look, that looks like the... Almost looks... These are harder too because because they don't have as much light sensitivity as the regular cameras do. So I'm sure they had to like really like that, those shots. I don't know what cabin this is, but it looks like the older... Looks like those cabins they used in part six, at least just in terms of the, the BTS footage. Yes, uh, yeah, the, the the locations are spot on. Mm hmm Ooh, nice little shots there. Think they had the lights rigged outside or what, Rue? Yeah. Definitely, because the light beams are coming from the outside. So they have a light pushing through. We're doing the special effects again on the... Sir, put your hands above your head. Get back on your back. It's my location immediately. Oh, shit. Sir, I said put your hands above your head. This back. This back. Can you copy? Sir, I said put your hands above your head. This back. This back. This back. Oh! 
God. Good shot. Jeez. That's it. What? Yeah, it's twenty-five. So they're gonna do a. That's the prequel to Never Hike Alone, and then they're gonna do two sequels to Never Hike Alone after that. So this is this was. Oh, setting. okay. That kind of left unfinished there. Up, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Well, there you have it. That's the indie rundown commentary on uh, Womp Stomp Films' new newest addition to their uh, Friday 13th fan film franchise slash series, Never Hike in the Snow. If you hadn't seen Never Hike Alone, so I can get these uh, titles mixed up, we'll leave it, uh, the link in the description. So Never Hike in the Snow was the prequel to Never Hike Alone, which was the you know mega hit uh, in 2017 that kind of was the pioneer for uh, um, filmmakers really to get their hand into uh, making fan films for horror movies. Uh, so big shout out to uh, Womp Stomp and uh, Vincent DeSante for kind of paving the way for everyone else to, you know, do their own horror fan film and really kind of to show that there is a uh, fan fan base with the horror community, a loyal fan base and a great fan base, to be honest, to, uh, you know, to, to, to be had. So, um, that's it. Unless you guys have anything more to add, uh, you know, we're going to have, we're going to do a commentary on another uh, commentary. We're going to do a review on another video. So stay tuned for that. But, uh, anything else you guys have? No, I'm going to save my stuff for the review. It was a fun watch though. I had a good time. Yeah, for sure. Me too. I thought, um, from a technical side, it was really good. Um, so definitely have more to say once we review it. Congratulations to Vincent DeSante and Wamstam Films, um, you know, uh, for, for making this. I know it's hard, especially when you're dealing with snow, so I think they did a good job. And uh, congratulations to the cast and crew. Again, uh, this was a commentary. Stay tuned for another video. We're going to do a, a review for Wamstam Films, Never Hike in the Snow. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast. 